So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about downloader being removed once again from your Google Play Store. And also, I'm gonna show you how to easily get it back. So this video shouldn't be too long. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So before we jump into the installation and how to get it back, let's quickly go over what's going on with Downloader and why it was removed from the Google Play Store once again. So uh, for you guys on Amazon Fire TV Stick, this is not applicable to you. Downloader is still available. You can go to your app store, search for it, and it should be there for you to install. However, if you're on the Nvidia Shield TV, TiVo Stream 4K, even your Chromecast with Google TV, you're not gonna be able to search for Downloader and find it in the Google Play Store. And I'll verify this here in a little bit. So from the website, AFTV News, which is the owner of Downloader, uh, you can see posted that my download application has again been absurdly removed from Google Play due to a frivolous copyright claim from Warner Brothers Discovery. All right, so we can read again. Uh, my download app has once again been removed from the Google Play Store due to false digital millennium copyright act or DMCA takedown request. The culprit this time is Sheeta Singh, which not sure who that is, but <laughs> uh, the COO of Markson in India, who claims to represent Warner Brother and Discovery Inc. It's ridiculous that with no evidence whatsoever, Google approved these types of suspensions on an app that is essentially just a web browser. So again, this isn't the first time this is happening, guys. And what's happening in uh, Shame on Google, really, because this is not the first time this is happening. When Google received the claim, instead of verifying what the claim is saying, it, it reacts to the claim, so it takes down the application. Now the owner of the application has to go through hoops to get their app back on the Google Play Store. Again, Downloader essentially is a web browser, guys, um, just like Firefox, just like TV Bro, which I'll demonstrate here in a little bit. Uh, allows you to get to website, allow you to browse, allow you to download applications. Um, that a uh, normal web browser allows you to do. That's what Downloader is. And uh, again, shame on Google for just essentially reacting to the request versus verifying what the request is saying. So I'll leave the link to the article, but let's jump over to the Nvidia Shield TV and verify that it's not there. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to reinstall it. Looks like Google pulled it from the place. So let's go ahead and we'll just try to search it just to see what we end up with. So if I go to my apps, I'm gonna open the Google Play Store. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna hit the search. And of course we can either talk into it or we can type it. Let's try talking into it. Downloader. All right, so we search downloader and <laughs> we have no downloader. So that's where the problem lies. <laughs> um, but like I said, this is pretty straightforward, easy to get up and running. Basically a couple steps and you should have Downloader installed on your device. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Play Store. We're gonna download a browser. It's called TV Bro. Uh, TV Bro, as for now, can be found directly in the Google Play Store. Um, seems like Google haven't pulled it yet, so, so we can all clap that up. But um, all we gotta do is type or search for TV Bro. Let's give it a shot. TV Bro. All right, so TV Bro is a, a web browser. It's not gonna be a fancy looking browser, but at the heart, it does what it's supposed to do. It is lightweight. It is gonna get you to utilize, maximize your search using the Google search engine. It is lightweight, it is open source, and it's just a good addition, in my opinion. Even if it hasn't been on your radar, this is something you should definitely um, consider just giving a shot. So once we download it, we are gonna need to make sure that it can install third-party applications, and I'm um, gonna show you one way how to get into it now, but there's another way once we download Downloader that I'll show you how to enable it. So to get TV Bro to be able to install third-party applications, we're going to go to our settings. We're going to go down to applications. All right. We're going to go to security and restrictions. Where it says unknown sources, go ahead and click on that. And you should see TV Bro on here. And what you want to do, uh, you are going to want to make sure that this application can install apps on your Nvidia Shield or whatever Android TV device you're using. So we're gonna go ahead and click that on. And now we're gonna go ahead and go back into TV Bro. 
All right, so TV Bro should look something like this. Like I said, very lightweight browser, and I, I actually like it. Just gives you better performance, gives you what you need to get everything running. You can see it has the mic input, has the X, it has recent favorites, your download tab, incognito, and you do have some settings that you can play with. And if you go further down, you can see you have the full um, Google engine search engine at your disposal but what we're going to do is put in a url and uh, this is going to be a tiny url it is going to be a direct download link to apk pure and the cool thing about this is that if downloader updates in the future this url should still work when they automatically update that will be the same link that we're using right now so we're going to put in this url in our browser it's going to be https colon for slash for slash uh, bit.ly For slash and for this part you want to make sure you pay attention to the uppercase lowercase uh, this is going to be case sensitive so uh, just put it exactly how you're seeing it here and I'll go ahead and put it on the screen so you can go ahead and follow along it's gonna be 421 lowercase z um, uppercase wy so we're gonna hold the shift and it should um, switch with that little line which means it's um, caps lock so we're going to put w y and we're going to go back and hit the shift again and we're going to put lowercase w so just like it looks here guys https colon four slash four slash bit dot l y four slash four two one z w y w all right we're going to hit search All right, you can see at the bottom download started. All right, um, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the download. You can see right there, APK Pure, APK. We're gonna click on it. All right, so if you're someone who haven't used TV Bro um, to install applications before, you are gonna see this pop up. Pretty straightforward again. We're just gonna hit our settings. All right, and we just give it a second for it to pop up. All right, don't see anything, nothing to see here. I'll go ahead and blur all those out. <laughs> um, but TV Bro, if it's not checked, that means that you're not allowed to install apps from it um, as of yet. So we're gonna turn it on, and we're just gonna hit the back button. All right, so should bring you back here. We're gonna go ahead and click on it again. Now we're going to click install. All right, so apps installed. Uh, we can either open it or we can hit done. Let's go ahead and hit done. All right, now we can just go back home. And if we go to our apps, we should see downloader right here. All right, again, downloader, just click allow, and you can see downloader is ready to go. So pretty straightforward, like I said, not sure what's going on with Google and downloader. We know that we've seen similar spats with Google and other applications, notably um, ES File Explorer, which the reasoning behind that is that Google said that they were targeting ads and they pulled it from the Play Store. So I wonder if something similar is going on here, but cool thing to know is that there's an easy way to get it. Um, however, since we just use TV Bro to install an application, do you really need Downloader to install an application? Technically don't, as long as you can get a browser that allows you to download and install applications. So TV Bro, for instance, if you went to APK Pure, you can go in there and you can search for whatever application you need and you should be able to download and install it. So the days of relying on a single application to download or install applications, those days are over. So that's how you get downloaded back on your Android TV. Um, let me know in the comment section if this video helped. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.